Good morning, guys. First and foremost, I'll say happy birthday to Bentley. You guys remember Bentley? You know, my son. Yeah, turned four today. Four. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I already got the phone with him, and he was happy. He's, ah, oh, it's so good to talk to him again. But yeah, it's Bentley's birthday today. Time flies by, man. It's crazy. Well, it's rainy and crappy outside, so I really don't know how well we'll be able to go and check out the creek and stuff. Maybe it'll stop by the time we get there. I'm kind of hoping it does, but I feel like that creek's going to be flooded regardless, so I doubt we'll find anything, but we'll at least try to head down there and check it out a little bit. Well, I am here. This is it. Man. It's... It's crazy being back here. I don't know. I can't really process my thoughts. I know it's only been a couple years, but it feels like an eternity since I've been back at this place. But let's go inside and see what all is different. This is the only thing that's the exact same as the outside. We'll see. Well, for starters, this garage is cleaned out like no other i know we we cleaned it out before but all my grandpa's stuff used to be like right in here all his woodworking stuff used to be like right in this area his random toilet <laughs> and uh oh my gosh this push mower gave me fits one of the two i think it was this one yeah it was this one because they had a riding lawnmower and whenever it broke down my grandpa would make me have to take that mower and mow all this with that little push mower and then I had to go over here to the backyard and mow all that which uh, was a delight all right now dad said the key was somewhere in That's it. Oh, there's multiple keys. Front door. I don't know what that is. I guess if it worked for the front door, it worked for this door. Hopefully they didn't put in like a security system or something to where this whole thing starts going crazy whenever I just try to get in here. I'm gonna try to get these back up. Is the thing to there's no thing to put it I don't know what to do. Oh okay I found it. Never mind, we got it guys. Okay. We'll give this a shot. Alright, let's get inside here. Holy crap. This was the living room um kitchen area which it looks a whole lot smaller now I put down like linoleum or something on it. It took up all the carpet in both these rooms and this was all carpet. That was all carpet. They ripped up the carpet everywhere. Wow. This is the uh wow. The other living room and then this was the dining room area which you know, it used to be in my grandparents' bedroom. Of course, you guys remember all this from the older vlogs from like 2012, but holy crap. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. This is just... It's so weird with it. It looks, feels so much smaller than what it used to be. Oh my goodness. And my old room. Where the vlog started. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's a neighbor's house. 
I mean, it's my mind's blown right now. Let's see what Dad's room looks like. Dang, everything looks so much freaking smaller. This is unreal. The only thing that doesn't look any different is the bathroom, because this is how they did the bathroom. So, y'all remember how I was talking about how I need to have an extra battery on me since the camera died the last time? Yeah, I didn't do that today, and the camera died as I was filming that clip that you just saw. And I didn't have a battery on me. Not at all. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take one of my extra batteries and I'm putting it somewhere in the truck so it's always on me. Because as soon as I heard that camera beep, and then just shut off. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? But I ended up checking out the rest of the house and then went over to Max and Zach's, hung out. We did exactly what I said we were going to do. Sat down, talked for a little bit while watching TV, and then played video games for a little while. And then I left and came back here. So, yeah, and my camera just finally got charged up. <sighs> So, sorry about that, but hey, at least this vlog was a little bit more interesting than, you know, before. Tomorrow, I have to go out to AT&T and uh, get a new phone because I'm ready for my upgrade. And I'm torn about whether I want to get an iPhone 6 or if I want to go like the Samsung Galaxy. Those are the two that I'm torn between. I've been an iPhone user for a long time, and it's hard to break the iPhone habit. If any of you guys have iPhones, you know what that's like. So, my question to you guys is, what should I get? iPhone 6? Not the Plus, I don't want it to bend. iPhone 6 or the Galaxy, I'd go with the Galaxy S5 Active. Because where I do all the herping and fishing and stuff like that, I need a phone that if it falls in the river, it won't be destroyed. So yeah, those two. iPhone 6, Galaxy S5 Active. Which one do you think I should get? Let me know in the comments, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully, have a new phone tomorrow. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. I'll see you then. Good night.